Alright guys, I'll just take one minute of your precious time. Just wanted to let all of you know that if you want to practice all these questions using artificial intelligence and practice on a portal which is as similar as your actual PT exam which will give you exact scores which you are likely to get in your exam, just register on languageacademy.com.au. You can practice as many questions. On top of that, you can get instant feedback, instant scores and instant suggestions on what are the things you need to work on and how to improve your mistakes and turn them into your strength. You can also take a full scored mock test. You'll get a full scorecard. You'll get in-depth analysis. You'll get tutor's feedback. One mock test is available for free and four sectional mock tests are available for free. You just need to go on languageacademy.com.au. Register over there. Use Google Chrome, log in and practice and make sure you get your desired score at the earliest. Now you can continue with the video or you can just log on to languageacademy.com.au and practice all these questions over there as well. All the very best. I'll see you very soon. Result, the most potent, strong, and primary source of your achievement is your thoughts. Your thoughts must be joined with clarity of purpose, perseverance, and a burning, pulsating strong desire to put them into action if they are to develop into success. Believe in yourself and your ability to succeed. You will then do everything it takes to achieve success. The secret to success is having faith in yourself and believing that you can and will succeed. Regardless of how well we plan and prepare, unforeseen situations will inevitably come. The bumps in the road are inescapable, but if you don't want to go over them, you'll never get to your destination. The difference between tragedy and victory is whether you're ready and willing to endure the storm. Those bumps will become stepping stones if you're prepared. The important thing to remember is that working harder equals working smarter. What methods do you use to work smarter? All you need are the necessary talents. People want better surroundings and a better life but not necessarily a better self. They want to win without having to pay a price or do any effort.
Men and women from the Bishnoi tribe perished about 300 years ago, in 1730, in an attempt to stop the destruction of trees. The trees were to be burned to make lime for a new palace's building. Amrita Devi, a local woman, objected the tree felling because the Bishnoi faith forbade such actions. In order to save the trees, she and her three daughters gave their lives. Many other villagers followed suit and hugged the trees that were about to be cut down, resulting in their deaths. This incident was the forerunner of the Chipko movement, which began in the 20th century. The chopping of green trees is forbidden in the Bishnoi faith. It requests that the Kejuri, the area's shade and fodder tree, be completely protected. Due to the presence of a double recessive allele in the genetic coding, a pure white tiger is completely white without any stripes. It can only be found in the Bengal tiger subspecies, and it occurs in one out of every 10,000 births. White tigers are extremely rare in the wild, with only 12 having been observed in India in the last century. Tigers live for about 10 to 15 years. They are lonely creatures who prefer to hunt at night. They eat any animals they can catch and can consume up to 40 pounds of meat at a time. They frequently avoid food for several days after such a large dinner. They are sluggish runners but excellent swimmers. They are sluggish runners but excellent swimmers. All of them promised to open up attractive professional opportunities, particularly for the area's landed class. These schools have trendy names and were founded in the years following the election of the 42nd President of the United States. They give an image of society trying to change as they sit among sugar cane fields and mango gardens. Despite the presence of such a good social component in the neighborhood, there is no indication of overall changes. The roadways are rutted and strewn with debris. The dream of an all-weather highway is still a pipe dream. It is inconceivable to have a constant power supply, and old industries are dying. There are also governance issues, such as the law and order situation.
Adnan Hajj, the photographer, allegedly thickened the smoke billowing from an apartment block following an Israeli air attack to emphasize the impact of the bombardment and two flares were suspected of being added to a shot of an Israeli jet in action over Lebanon. After an internal inquiry, Reuters validated the claim of doctoring, which was first raised by various bloggers. Mr. Hajj, who had been selling photos to Reuters for over a decade, denied tampering with the two images, blaming the dense smoke in the first on poor lighting, and the fact that he was trying to remove dust markings. There was no trouble with it none at all, he claimed of the second. However, Reuters was not convinced, and said that it was eliminating all of the images from its database and would no longer use his service. Great guys have all achieved success. They are remembered for their outstanding accomplishments. Success, on the other hand, is bound to come to those who are truthful, diligent, devoted, and dedicated to their aims. Man's biggest drive has always been success. It is critical for everyone. Success has a significant impact on one's life. It makes you happy and proud. It offers you a sense of accomplishment. It entails a holistic approach to development. Everyone aspires to be successful in their lives. Success, on the other hand, smiles on those with the right approach, planning, vision, and stamina. All of these things, when used correctly and at the right moment, will inevitably bring fruit. Female sparrows typically lay four to six eggs each clutch. The eggs are reddish-brown in color with white dots. It takes 11 to 14 days for them to hatch. Both male and female parents look after their children. After hatching, the young are fed insects. The sparrow scratches seeds with its big claws. Adult sparrows consume primarily seeds. Sparrows can be found practically anywhere that humans exist. Many people enjoy viewing these beautiful birds all throughout the world. The sparrows are one of the rare birds that bathe in the dust. Sparrows scratch a hole in the ground with their foot, then lie in it, 
flinging dirt or sand over their body with wing flicks. The exquisite sculpture that covers practically every inch of the walls, pillars, and even ceilings of this little temple captivates with its beauty and energy. It contains three shikaras and is built on an elevated platform in the shape of a star with 24 edges. The outer walls are covered in intricate sculptures, with carved stone plaques covering the full surface. There were vertical panels adorned in magnificent representations of gods and goddesses, many of whom were shown in various incarnations. There were also nymphs, some of whom carried a maize ear, a symbol of plenty and prosperity.
Plant worship is a long-standing tradition in India. It is the most ancient form of worship. When people began to focus on food production, the mother goddess, sometimes known as the Earth Mother, became the most important divinity. To her believers, fertility, creation, and the world of plants and animals became her blessings. The worship of the tree was an appreciation of her creative talents, symbolizing the vitality of fertility for the early people's existence. Trees were thought to house spirits, both good and harmful. The spirits of the area were happy if the trees were revered. As agriculture replaced sacred woodlands, only one tree remained, and it was recognized as a sacred tree. The Ganga is the most sacred river in India for millions of people. It is revered as both a mother and a deity. It also serves as a lifeline for millions of Indians who live along its banks and rely on it for their daily necessities. The Ganga is the world's third largest river by volume of water flowing through it. It is the country's longest river. Irrigation, transportation, and fishing are all done with Ganga river water. The Gangetic Plain, which is formed by the Ganga River, is one of the most fertile areas on the planet. This is why about 10% of the world's population lives and works here. In India, the Ganga is the most revered body of water. The irony is that, despite being the most revered river in the world, it is also the dirtiest. Hello. My name is David. It's nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Jenny. It's my pleasure to meet you. I am sorry. What was your name again? Jenny. So Jenny, what do you do for a living? I work at the local school teaching English. What do you for a living? I am also an English teacher, but I'm currently out of work. Sorry to hear that. It has been really nice talking to you. Yes, it was a great pleasure meeting you.
Even the smartest woman cannot cook without rice, according to a Chinese saying, and this is also true for a large number of Indians. The most important basic type of food in the world is boiled rice. The grain is available in a wide range of variations all around the world. Contrary to popular belief, rice is not fattening. Scientists and nutritionists agree that rice is healthy and does not cause weight gain. It mostly consists of carbs that, when ingested in moderation, do not contribute to weight gain. Rice has only about 0.4 gram of fat per 100 gram serving. In fact, this portion has only 100 calories. And, as famous culinary expert Tarla Dalal points out, rice has about the same number of calories as whole wheat and is hence not more fattening. The press serves as a teacher. It is responsible for shaping and forming public opinion. It makes public requests and airs public complaints. It protects the rights and interests of people. It raises its resounding voice in opposition to any attempt to infringe on people's rights and liberties. It serves as a check on the whims of individuals in positions of power. It exposes officials who are unethical, ineffective, and corrupt. All good and honorable causes are championed by it. It gives the administration a healthy tone by criticizing the actions and omissions of government personnel. Naturally, a country's government cannot ignore the media. It can't be dismissive of its point of view. The most important nutrient for our bodies is oxygen. It is necessary for the brain, nerves, glands, and internal organs to function properly. We may go weeks without food and days without drink, but without oxygen, we will perish within minutes. If the brain does not receive adequate amounts of this critical nutrient, all of the body's vital organs will deteriorate. The brain consumes the most oxygen of any organ. If it doesn't get enough, it causes mental drowsiness, bad thinking, and sadness, as well as visual and hearing loss. Because oxygen to the brain is limited in the elderly and individuals with clogged arteries, they typically become senile and hazy. They rapidly become annoyed. 
all regions of the body are affected by a lack of oxygen. Even non-poisonous species aren't fully free of poison. The poisonous secretions of the common sand boa, for example, are extremely dangerous to birds. As a result, the species takes no chances and crushes its victim before injecting poison. Do vipers require poison capable of killing hundreds of rats with a single drop? They only consume one or two at a time, after all. While hunting animals try their hardest to kill as quickly as possible, their prey tries any tactic they can think of to avoid becoming a meal, such as gaining poison immunity. Californian ground squirrels, for example, are immune to rattlesnake poison from the northern Pacific. Overconfidence often leads to misadventures, jeopardizing one's opportunities in life. Any achievement, as is properly said, is the product of two factors, one's own personal planning and external support. People often consider only their own plans, ignoring external considerations. As a result, they can't predict what will happen next. As a result, there is a significant danger of failure. Then there's the issue of how to deal with overconfidence. The formula is straightforward. Before making a decision, talk to other knowledgeable individuals with an objective mind about the situation, and if it is proven that you are likely to stray from the path, accept reality and admit, I was mistaken.
Orangutans reside in Borneo and Sumatra's rainforests, where food availability is highly variable and unpredictable. The pickings are often feast or famine, much like fresh fruits from the garden. However, limited energy means that there is less energy available to accomplish things like grow and reproduce. As a result, orangutans develop slowly and reproduce slowly, which is perilous evolutionarily because an orangutan could die before passing on its genes. Orangutans in the wild only breed every seven to eight years, but human mothers can have a kid every two to four years. Orangutans are among the most intelligent primates, employing a variety of sophisticated tools and elaborating sleeping nests made of branches and foliage each night. While the panther prefers to stay hidden and cling to the forest's edge, game animals like to congregate in open, large grazing pastures. Open expanses, which the panther avoids at all costs, are what game animals seek out on purpose. It's impossible to put into words the chaos that diverse creatures cause when they spot or suspect a panther nearby. The peacock on its perch, the jungle fowl on the ground, and the monkey on the treetops all join in the panther's denunciation. In their own unique tongue, they curse the panther. The resulting cacophony of sounds irritates the panther's sensitive ears to the point that it has no choice but to flee. As a result, the panther must deal with its ever-vigilant and vigilant companions, who show no mercy and expect none. In these democratic times, public opinion reigns supreme. No government can withstand the pressure of a strong public opinion for an extended period of time. As a result, it is evident that the press controls public opinion, which in turn controls the government, and that the press, in turn, controls the government. It serves as a translator between the government and the people, bringing rulers and ruled closer together. The press serves as a public court as well. Through the medium of newspapers, all ills, corruptions, vices, scandals, and other issues are brought to the public's attention. The public's pressure can be applied on those who commit acts of wickedness and injustice.
Consider the American Indians' use of wampum, the West Africans' trade in manilas, and the Fijians' economy based on whales' teeth, some of which are still legal tender. Add to that shells, amber, ivory, decorative feathers, cattle such as oxen and pigs, and a large number of stones such as jade and quartz, which have all been used for trade around the world, and we get a sense of the variety of accepted currency. This is a reasonable thing for a community to do as long as everyone involved can agree on a value. After all, the person who has what you require may not require what you are offering in exchange. That problem is neatly solved by money. Each exchange adds real value, and everyone benefits from the convenience. The reason for this is that the moon reflects very little sunlight, just around 7% of what it receives. The planet reflects almost half of the solar light it receives. Think about how dazzling the world must appear from the moon. In the earth light, one can even read a book on the moon. You don't have to go all the way to the moon to appreciate how powerful the earth's light is. Observe the crescent moon just after the new moon has passed. The sun shines brightly on the brilliant crescent. Earth light illuminates the rest of the moon. In other words, the Earth's reflected light falls on the moon. This is reflected back to us and is bright enough to reveal the moon. This effect diminishes as the crescent grows larger. The world outside does not determine our situations and conditions. It is the world within us that generates that outside. The mind, which is also known as the soul, is the source of self-awareness. The sum total of the states of awareness classified as cognition, volition, and feeling is known as the mind. Aside from self-awareness, we have the ability to select and think. No man resteth an instant in activity, Krishna declares. Even while we are passive on the physical level, we are always acting on the mental plane. As a result, observing oneself allows us to effortlessly mold our thinking. If our ideas are pure and noble, our actions will automatically follow suit. Our behaviors will mirror our thoughts if they are filled with jealousy, anger, and greed.
Hi, how are you? I'm fine. You look worried. Is there any problem? You can share it with me. Actually I am worried about my exams. There is only one week left for it. And I think I have not studied anything. I'm feeling nervous. Oh, just focus on your studies and you won't face any problem. That's the problem. I can't concentrate. These all happened to me too and hence I started meditating. It had a radical effect on my concentration power. Thank you so much for your advice. I will surely follow it. Okay then bye. I'll meet you soon. Bye bye. The rise of this sector is aided by a number of factors, one of which is the presence of high-end facilities. We only realize how much better off we are in terms of infrastructure and quality when we travel to different nations. According to Dr. Rajendra Prasad, senior consultant neurosurgery, the country has the resources to be on the world map for medical tourism since it has a combination of all the appropriate components. India is also known for its wealth of talent, with doctors renowned for their experience and understanding. The latest medical technologies and drugs are on par with those found in the developed countries. It's a long cry from the summer vacations I had as a kid. Every year, holidays meant returning to your hometown, logging in with the emotional headquarters of your extended family, and spending two months with a flock of uncles, aunts, and first and second cousins. This annual ritual of homecoming and validation appears to be centered on the fondest recollections of a generation's upbringing. Even as we scurried back into the cauldron of community and continuity symbolized by family, we offered unspoken apologies for the separateness required in being individuals. Summer vacation was a sticky period of oneness, when who we were and what we owned poured out of our separate selves into our collective selves.
It's no surprise that, in addition to the texts, nature is revered in many cultures. The message we receive is to safeguard the environment and keep ecological balance. People are taught to live in harmony with nature and to recognize the presence of God in all things natural. Nature has a lot to teach us. A river never ceases to flow. If it encounters a stumbling block in the shape of hefty rock, the river water fights to get it out of the way or finds another way to proceed. This teaches us to be progressive in our lives and to maintain our battling spirit. Snakes are revered because they consume insects that can harm our crops in the field, therefore protecting the grains for us. Computers are capable of performing highly complex tasks in all fields of study. They can solve the most difficult mathematical problems or organize thousands of seemingly unrelated information. These machines can be used in a variety of ways. They can, for example, provide tips on how to avoid traffic congestion. The term, automation, refers to the process of using machines to perform tasks for us. Humans may be able to enjoy greater leisure in the future as a result of automation. The arrival of automation will very certainly have far-reaching social implications. Sir Leon Bagright, an automation expert, pointed out a few years ago that it was a folly to imagine that these machines could think. The state of being healthy encompasses the physical, mental, and spiritual aspects of one's being. It is the state in which the body and mind are performing their duties properly. Good health allows everyone to be more creative and contribute to society's well-being. He must thus be disease-free. Otherwise, if he does have a sickness, he must receive therapy for the entire body, mind, and soul. To put it another way, a doctor must have a sound approach to his or her patients. In modern days of specialization, doctors just treat a patient's immediate illness, treating it separately. Such a strategy contradicts the traditional adage that prevention is better than cure.
Globalization is a process that allows all countries to expand their markets, increase technological growth, and improve their economies. It is the method by which makers and producers of items or goods market their goods or services worldwide without restriction. It allows business people to make a lot of money since they can readily find low cost labor in poor countries. It gives businesses a significant advantage in dealing with the global market. Globalization makes it possible to think of the entire world as a single market. By approaching the world as a global village, traders are expanding their regions of business. I received an unusual and extremely satisfying gift the other day. I was given a tree, or rather, a half dozen plants, to be planted on my behalf. I'd been asked to give a presentation to a group. The speaker is frequently given a modest gift after such gatherings. A pen or other useful item is sometimes given as a gift. The gift is frequently in the shape of a plaque or other similar token. Unfortunately, no matter how well intentioned, such gifts are doomed to collect dust in forgotten corners. Which is why I was pleased to be awarded a scroll attesting that trees would be planted in my name on a designated plantation developed for the purpose as part of the Green Movement. Generation gap refers to the difference in how people of two generations think and perceive things, which leads to behavioral variances and, in some cases, conflict between them. In most families, there is a generation gap between parents and their children. It's not just because of the age difference, it's also because of how parents react to a given situation. Because they are young and undeveloped, children are unable to comprehend their parents' thoughts. Even if they are mature, many parents are unable to empathize with the shifting values and thinking patterns of the modern society. As a result, there is a communication gap between the two generations.
After numerous conflicts, the family finally departs from home, and there is a brief pause as the automobile departs. All right, so where are we heading for dinner now? The driver inquires. As several voices give as many proposals, mayhem ensues. Tempers have raised, feelings have been hurt, and at least one person is grumbling by the time order is restored and a decision is reached. Twenty years ago, you would leave the house with the food in place fully decided, with no disagreements or objections, and everyone looking forward to the meal with similar zeal. The family's head made the decision, and the rest of the family followed suit. Every family member now gets a say in every decision, which fosters a sense of belonging and bonding. Did you know that one of the seven virtues that have been described as the keys to personal achievement and societal improvement is perseverance, grit, curiosity, thankfulness, optimism, self-control, social intelligence, and zest are the other six. Thomas Edison is a role model for fortitude for attempting to invent the light bulb 1,000 times or more. You know he succeeded if you're reading this with the lights on in your room. He simply answered that what he had been were not failures when asked why he kept continuing despite his hundreds of failures. There were hundreds of different ways to avoid making a light bulb. This statement displayed not only his grit, but also his optimism in the face of adversity. Have you ever failed so terribly at something that the concept of trying again was the last thing on your mind? If you answered yes to both questions, you are, not a robot. Humans, unlike machines, have sentiments, emotions, and dreams. Regardless of our circumstances or constraints, we are all destined to grow and stretch. When life is going our way, it's terrific to be thriving and working to make our aspirations come true. What happens, however, if it isn't? What happens if you fail despite your best efforts? Do you give up and accept loss, or do you keep getting up until you're satisfied? Grit is a term used by professionals to describe a person's tendency to persevere and keep going.
Another attraction for visitors to Jammu and Kashmir is the country's first floating post office, which is located on the Dal Lake in Srinagar. The floating post office, Dal Lake, which is said to be the only one of its kind in the world, is housed on an artistically carved maroon houseboat moored on the Dal Lake's western shore. While afloat, you can use this post office to access all of the country's standard postal services. The seal, together with the date and address, is unique to everything sent from the floating post office. It is designed to seem like a boatman rowing a shikara on Dal Lake. This post office is unique in that letters sent from here have a unique design depicting the lovely surroundings of Dal Lake and Srinagar City. Tucker, a sniffer dog, is assisting researchers in determining why a killer whale population off the northwest coast of the United States is declining. He looks for whale feces floating on the water's surface, which he collects for inspection. He's part of a select group of detecting canines utilized by researchers studying a variety of animals, including right and killer whales. According to Amy Hurt, Associate Director and Co-Founder of Working Dogs for Conservation in Three Forks, Montana, conservation canines are quickly becoming important tools for biologists. However, there have been so many new conservation canine programs in the last few years that Hurt can no longer keep track of them all. It's difficult to locate someone who have both technical and communicative abilities. If you mix the two early in your career, you can leapfrog your peers. Your communication abilities will be used to judge, evaluate, promote, or block you. Learn to observe excellent communicators and adopt their styles and traits both written and verbal because habits are formed by repeating both good and bad forms of communication. Another secret formula is the art of listening and learning from each and every interaction. Develop the practice of listening to yourself while you speak and pausing when necessary. It's arguably more important to learn what not to say than it is to learn what to say.
If you are addicted to coffee and your doctor advises you to stop, don't panic. Just keep enjoying the beverage because it isn't all that horrible. According to a new study, a steaming cup of java can outperform fruits and vegetables as an antioxidant source. According to several research, coffee is the most abundant source of antioxidants in the American diet, and both caffeinated and decaf forms appear to have comparable antioxidant levels. Antioxidants have been linked to a variety of possible health benefits, including protection against heart disease and cancer. However, according to Vinson, a nutritionist, the effects of antioxidants are ultimately dependent on how they are absorbed and utilized in the body. Schools usually schedule one topic, such as history, for the first period, when everyone in the class does nothing but history, and another subject, such as math, for the second period, when you do nothing but arithmetic. But things were different here. The teacher created a list of all the difficulties and questions in the disciplines to be covered that day at the start of the first period. Now, start with whichever of these you prefer, she would offer. So it didn't matter if you started with history, math, or something else. Someone interested in composition may be writing something, while someone interested in chemistry may be boiling something in a flask over an alcohol burner behind you. Even highways, as you can see, have markers that provide safety margins while driving. If we go over one side, we'll end up in the ditch. If we cross the middle line, we risk getting killed. And we value lines like this because they help us stay secure. We don't often appreciate how crucial lines are in keeping us secure. I'm not proud of it, but for the first 20 years of my working life, I ignored my limits. I was physically miserable the majority of the time. I know I have boundaries and that I've crossed them, I used to tell myself, but I'm going to disregard them and see how long I can get away with it. I visited doctors and tried everything I could think of to feel better, including medicines, vitamins, natural cures, and everything else I could find.
The film has also made its mark on the international stage as a facilitator of international goodwill and cooperation. Films have established cultural ties that have the ability to reduce global tensions and improve international relations. The more people learn about and appreciate the past history, current goals, customs, habits, and beliefs of men and women in other countries, the more they will realize that the best way to serve their interests is to build friendly relationships with them and remove the irritants that breed distrust, lack of cooperation, and a desire to punish those whose views and attitudes they disagree with. As cultural agents, movies have the potential to strengthen international links of love and brotherhood by teaching people to share the benefits of the world's vast and amazing achievements. Advertising has evolved into a subculture with a devoted following. As a result, it gets enviable attention from manufacturers and service providers looking for a competitive advantage. Unfortunately, in order to meet the manufacturer's ever-increasing expectations, advertisements have created unnecessary needs and excessive consumption in the majority of us. This is a desire for potentially dangerous products that we would be better off avoiding. It preys on our emotions, causing us to become entirely illogical. Advertisements on billboards, hoardings, television, and radio target us from an early age, molding our worldview as we develop into adults. If you use this or that thing, the buzzwords in advertising are, you are cool and sophisticated. A noble mission enriches one's own life, while also benefiting others. This occurred to me while researching and writing about Jem Sheji Tata's life. What gave a guy living in a colonized country the vision to help it grow in the international community? He not only provided India with steel and hydroelectric electricity, but also a research institute. He dispatched an education expert to Europe and the United States to investigate the best model for India. The paradigm was suggested as John Hopkins University in Baltimore. Jamsheji Tata, on the other hand, made a point of ensuring that his name was not associated with the university. With the founding of the Indian Institute of Science in Bengaluru after his death, his wish came fulfilled. In the coming decades, it was to be the epicenter of science.
it with the lost one 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 The majority of us fail in our attempts at self-improvement because our plans are too grandiose and we never have the time to put them into action. We also make the fundamental mistake of publicizing our decision, making ourselves look even more dumb when we revert to our old habits. Because I was aware of these traps, I made an effort this year to keep my resolutions to myself. I set two simple goals for myself to get some exercise every morning and to read more every evening. An all-night party on New Year's Eve gave me a decent excuse for failing to keep either of these new resolutions on the first day of the year, but on the second, I worked diligently. The daily exercise was only 11 minutes long, and I suggested doing it first thing in the morning before anyone else was awake. It with the lost one. 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 It with the lost.
Those who come from cultures with severe, formal, and extensive mourning rituals are the best equipped to deal with them. In India, we have a variety of traditions that are now being abandoned. However, these are beneficial during a crisis. Near and dear ones come to share the sorrow and offer consolation with their words of comfort. It is an important element of grief and coming to terms with loss. There comes a moment when one must let go of their sadness and reintegrate into society. Mourning goes through these stages as well. To begin with, it is in the nature of surprise and incredulity. The sensation of numbness takes over. Because the brain is unable to accept, one may anticipate the arrival of a loss, believing that nothing will change and that he will be reunited with the lost one. Also keep in mind that too much of anything is bad. Excessive salt consumption is absolutely out when it comes to the issue of stress. Sugar, fried food, and hot peppers are all bad for you. Overeating and a strong desire for a specific flavor or type of food can lead to rejasic, aggressive, or tamasic, dull, tendencies. Not so much what we eat or how much we eat but how we eat, is a more crucial component of the relationship between food and stress. Food eaten in a haste, in a state of anger, or in any other bad state of mind, for example, is bound to cause stress. It's also crucial to consider how the meal is presented. The presentation, cutlery, and crockery all play a role, but so does the love and affection with which the food is served. Now crack your PTE sitting at your home. Language Academy brings to you the smartest AI-powered practice portal, with instant scores and feedback for all the tasks. Along with the practice questions, access free sectional and full mock tests, and get instant scorecard with in-depth feedback and analysis. For more hidden secrets, tips, strategies, and proven templates, click the link below and subscribe to our video course today.